A case that has captivated the state and beyond for months now. Protesters and supporters gathering outside the Norfolk Superior Court in Dedham today as jury selection in the murder trial of Karen Reed gets underway. Now, both sides are allowed to challenge 16 jurors for no reason and additional jurors for cause. And the process of narrowing down the field is expected to take quite some time. WBC's Penny Commit has more from outside the courthouse. Karen Reed walking up to the Norfolk Superior Courthouse in Dedham Tuesday morning, surrounded by applause and support. It is time for people to stand for truth. It is time to stamp out gaslighting. Today marks the beginning of Reed's second degree murder trial, a case that has captivated the entire state. Reed is accused of hitting her Boston police officer boyfriend John O'Keefe with her car and leaving him to die in January of 2022. But Reed's lawyers say this is all a cover-up and are hoping to shift the blame to three other men. The judge just ruled today to allow that defense. Now, the outside of Norfolk Superior Court looks quite different today. Normally, those steps would be filled with Karen Reed supporters, but the judge approved a 200-foot buffer zone, leaving all of her supporters and protesters down the street. The prosecution is lying to the American people, and that is why I'm here. The decision comes as jury selection is set to begin today. The judge supported the prosecution's concern that the protesters could sway juror opinion. Reed supporters are calling it unconstitutional. Because the buffer zone, basically what it is, is it's a restraining order against the citizens of Massachusetts. Finding an impartial jury for such a high profile case, legal experts say, will be challenging but not impossible. In our superior courts, it can take multiple days to pick a jury because both sides are allowed to uh, excuse up to 16 potential jurors just for no reason at all. The selection process is expected to take several days. The trial itself, up to seven weeks. But protesters say they'll be out here every day. And the people that you see here are taking that stand. And believe me, it doesn't come without cost. Personal sacrifice, relationships have been torn apart. And believe it is their civic duty to find justice for John O'Keefe. You want justice for John O'Keefe? Just getting justice for John O'Keefe would be freeing Karen Reed. In Dedham, Penny Commit, WBZ News. We will have live streaming coverage of the Karen Reed trial on CBS News Boston, beginning with opening statements. Right now, you can stream a 20-minute behind-the-scenes look at the case. It's available on WBZ.com and the WBZ YouTube page.